Hello guys and welcome to episode 7 of my Total War Three Kingdoms 8 Princes playthrough playing as Surma Leong on very hard difficulty. Today we are going to be continuing our war with Surma Wei. He recently ran off after I assume running out of military supplies. So we're going to probably pursue him so let's go ahead and start doing that first of all or we could maybe actually move to an ambushing position. That may be a smarter idea in case he comes back. And yeah, we'll do that. We recently took uh, the province of Nanyang and we gave back Bai Jin to, or Jiangxia to Bai Jin uh, to make sure that our domain was normal instead of overextended. So that's what we've done. Yeah, Bai Jin's now a vassal again. Let's have a quick look at these people in merit. Vain, kind and stern. Not too bad. Vain's annoying though, so we're going to avoid picking her up. Just go through these messages. Nothing too much to worry about. Okay, cool. Uh, this guy is both low on satisfaction and also leveled up. Uh, we're going to go towards bravery. And then I'm probably going to go down to Diligence from there. I do need to promote him. Alright. So he's in this army. I might change these Axe Band. Uh, make them a bit better. These are like pretty much the same in stats. It's just the Imperial Guards just way better. I think I'm just going to put all the Imperial Guards in there. May as well use up some of this money we got. I might do the same in other places. Like this guy. I definitely need to upgrade this army. For sure. And he doesn't even have flaming ammunition. So there's no point in having the Arch Militia there, I don't think. Whereas this is fine. So we could have six units of Imperial Guard here. I just don't have the money for it right now. Right, we take him out of normal stance or ambush stance. We were going to look at ambushing by Jim, but since we're at peace now, it doesn't matter. Um, and from there, I just need to get into friendly territory and I can sort him out. Uh, let's head up towards Surma um, Way, or I could maybe walk through Jin, the Jin Empire lands. We wouldn't be trespassing because we have military access, I think. But that would allow me to attack this uh, livestock farm of Surma Yu. I would have to give that to one of my vassals, though. If I wanted it, because otherwise... I wouldn't be able to maintain my domain size. Uh, right, let's just go march. Uh, I think we're just going to head towards Sir Way rather than dealing with Sir Mayu. Alright. The rest of the money can go into our commanderies, of course. Uh, Ronan will get the private workshops going. Uh, Shang Yong, I'm going to upgrade this to the next level. There. Good. Move on. Your banner would continue under So my Ying wants a guarantee of autonomy, but now we're going to say no. I could give them the guarantee of autonomy. It depends if I want to annex them or not at any point. Probably not, right? I could give him autonomy. And then he would continue to conquer land, probably. Wouldn't be too bad. So Ma Yu requested Cao Huan to join their war. The Ma Chan is dead. Okay. Remarkable talent. A man comes before you, possessed, he insists, of remarkable talent. He claims to know... Chen Shu's records of the Three Kingdoms by heart. To prove it, he will tell you a character's tale or a price. Whose story would you like to hear? We could probably learn about Xiao Yun, the Tiger General. That would give us the spiritual alignment. That's what we probably want. 
That pushes us to 94 spiritual alignment. Uh, Sema Jean has come into our court after being wiped out of his own faction. He is trusting, honourable and resourceful. That's actually quite nice. I might pick him up. We do have Sir Marshall, although Sir Marshall satisfaction is quite low. We've also got these two. Hmm. I think we're going to get him. I'm going to compare his levels to the other guy we have. Because he's actually really happy. Yeah, he's happy with us. Mainly because he's uh, recently hired, but his innate satisfaction is pretty, pretty decent. Uh, Sir Marshall, his is just low. Uh, desires a higher court position at the moment. So he's got these ones, which is not too bad. Like, if we went up and left, that'd be fine. What about this guy? Uh, he's a bit better. What? He could get... He gonna get reach? Wait, since when can... I didn't even realise tacticians could get reach. I've never paid too much attention to that. Oh, has that always been a thing? No, I just look dumb. <laughs> well, Sir Marjal, uh, I think we're just going to kick him out of our faction. We'll keep uh, Sir Marjal. Alright. Goodbye. Release from service. Actually, let's just make sure before we kick him that we've taken everything off him. Yeah, he's he's got nothing. Goodbye. You have been replaced. Alright, we've got 2,784 to spend. Uh, we're going to go into normal stance here. And uh, we're going to start replacing some of these dudes. Alright, that's all we can do for now in that army. Uh, this one's just busy replenishing, which is fine. I guess what we're going to do is head towards uh, my way. Uh, we could maintain our replenishment if we go here in ambush stance. I think that's a decent idea because we saw some way go up here. He could easily come over to Nanyang. I'm going to pull this guy forwards as well. We'll put him into an ambush stance again. Just need to make sure we have enough movement to do so. And he can slowly work his way up. Actually, I guess for him it doesn't really matter because... He's fully replenished anyway. We'll just get him to go as far as we can. Although we have just discovered this guy. Uh, Qi Sheng. A pretty nasty army. Uh, what's this lady want? She's leveled up. I guess probably be best to go towards patience and resourcefulness and go across the top like that. I think we're going to go for Guile. That's fine. Great. Everything's done. Uh, we can invoke the council again. Send Zuo Shanmin on any assignment. Zuo Shanmin. He's already on an assignment. So I guess we can just auto complete that when she comes back. Well, it's almost over anyway. Yeah, I think she's coming back. Alright, that's perfect. We can just complete that almost instantly. So, Sema Wei has moved past. Honestly, I might just go for Chang'an. I might just go around the corner there. We would not be your enemy. Uh, Fei Ning Pei would like a non-aggression pact. I have no idea where they are. I can't see their name anywhere on the map. Uh, well, I'll just accept that for now. I should have probably checked how much that was worth. One thing I do need to do is go into my diplomacy and see if I can get some more value out of my diplomacy. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. Jin Empire declared war on Sema Yu. Sema Chai declared war on the Jin Empire. Uh, humility. Duo Shan Min gets the extra satisfaction. 
Due to their very nature, the truly humble are rarely spoken of. The work this court noble produces proves they derive satisfaction from the diligent completion of their responsibilities, rather than seeking recognition from their peers. Wow, that's a lot of people of merit. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and set up this assignment again with Zuo Shanmin. Uh, we need to do it at another place that gets a lot of industry. Or maybe a place that gets a lot of peasantry income, but I think industry is always better. That is 670. But then again, 690 from industry is technically better. It's just that that would be plus 30% rather than plus 50%. And we were focusing on peasantry income here, I think. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll get the extra income from peasantry. Or I could go for the income from commerce, but I don't think we have much commerce at the moment. Barely any commerce income. Maybe at Nanyang, we could force that. No, I need to send Zuo Shanmin on a, on a assignment anyway, because that's our mission. So we'll send her to Runan. No, oh, never mind. Uh, Shang Yong with the 50% income from peasantry. Good. Right, let's have a look at these new characters. So many of them. Song Wan has the intellectual vestures. He is cruel, feared, and honest. Too bad. Incompetent, coordinated, sincere. Yin Ningping. Stalwart, reckless, and spiteful. Uh, Zhang Mingchu, clever, bright, and uncomplicated. Both of those are really nice. The uncomplicated is kind of annoying, but I reckon her cunning is still pretty decent, yeah. Uh, Marong Junning, tough, superstitious, and concerned. Philanthropic, uncomplicated, solitary. What about this one? Cheerful, sincere, greedy. Oh, that's annoying. I really do need another sentinel, although she's going to be my next administrator, so that's fine. I'm probably going to make these two guys my Grand Commandant, Grand Excellency. Because they require higher court positions, but they both would want independent set administrators. So, yeah, it'd be better to put them in those core positions. Alright. Well, Summer Leong uh, can carry on. Uh, we're going to probably just leave this guy here while he continues to replenish. I can put him in March for sure. Right, and we're just going to go around the corner here. Oh, this is risky, actually. I have no idea where Summer Wei's army is. Uh, maybe we just go for the, like, ambush chance. There's 95% ambush chance here. Or well, 100% ambush chance there. Ooh, we could go over here. Go ambush. That's actually really good, because it's right in the middle. I like that a lot. 100% ambush chance as well. We're going to destroy one of those armies very nicely. Alright, uh, this place, we can upgrade this building. Um, yeah, we don't want to upgrade that yet. Although I could upgrade the main settlement. Yeah, we can do that. Um, so that'll be all of our money spent. Let's move on. Where did that army go? Is it just gone like into the mountain? Does like the AI know that the I'm there? Are better <laughs> really annoying. Uh, requesting that we both declare war on Fan Guan. Uh, is that down here? Fan Guan. That's the Jin Empire. It's Fan Guan. Ah, here. Uh, maybe we could do that. That would help us secure the south. But it's no benefit to us to make that happen. 
Zhang Shang Ji is here. <laughs> so that's pointless. You reject our generosity? Okay. Feigning Pei has been succeeded by Guan Bao Bao. Okay. Guan Bao Bao has been destroyed. <laughs> Alright. Sama Yu vassalized Sama Dan. And there we go. Mission complete. Sacrifice for the spirits. To offer up sacrifice to the spirits is a central tenet of Taoism. Although Zhang Daoling aggressively forbade the sacrifice of food and animals, the practice of burning hell money is still encouraged as a way of honouring departed ancestors. Where are we going to go next? Because we've just got that one, which gives us extra 25% food production faction wide, alongside the extra population growth. I think maybe we go for espionage. Or I could get the upgraded archers. That would be a pretty decent idea. Let's do that. Some more guys to recruit. Sermar Bang. Handsome, wise, and kind hearted. He's a vanguard. I think I'm going to take him. Uh, then we have. Che Wan Shu, vigilant, oh, vigilant, sorry, intrepid and distinguished. What about this one, creative, cruel, and defiant. Cruel's not great, but the other two are pretty nice. I think I'm going to pick him up. Okay, good. So, I guess what we're going to do is maybe move this army forwards to a place where we get a better ambush chance. But we do want to stay in friendly territory, I think, this turn. We'll just do that for now. Uh, probably going to switch out some more of this stuff. I might keep the archers in this guy's army, yeah. in this retinue, the Sema Liangs. And we'll swap all of these out. I need to have him in normal. I'm going to do this. Just a full retinue of Imperial Guard. Oh, we can't afford it. <laughs> That's awkward. Those troops are pretty not pretty nice though. Just about afford that one here as well. All right, let's carry on. We offer peace for now. Wow, Summer Way, definitely wanting a lot for peace. Wanting to give a lot for peace. Plus twenty nine. It's getting close. The cooperation thing. We took a couple land from him. A couple territories. We'd be in a pretty nice place. Uh, I might ask for Chang An. We can get it. No, we can't. See, so what I'm going to do is probably take Chang An and we'll give it to Zhang Zhangji. This is an insult. Oh, here we go. There's an ambush. Oh, this is risky though. This is very risky, because if we take a lot of damage from this and the other army comes and attacks us, <laughs> damn, that's going to suck. Alright, well, we'll go in. Sema Liang, our son, has to prove himself here against this almighty army of Sema Wei. It's going to be a difficult battle, although we can get on top of their archers pretty easily with our cav. So I'm probably going to do that. Yeah, the back here. Perfect. We'll just charge straight into them. On the back side. Alright, um, elsewhere. 
We got these lot. We can probably kill these ones at the front with the crossbows. That's probably a good idea. I'm probably going to keep my troops relatively consolidated towards the rear, I think. So I'll put my trebuchets over here. That's probably where they're most safe. Um, actually, I might face them like in that direction so I can hit these guys. Uh, we're going to be attacking all those units, so it's just these ones here. We'll smash into all of them. I'll have these come in from the other side. To crush all those units. I'll have my crossbows here. To attack their infantry. Or archers and stuff at the front. And do that. I think that's pretty solid. Right, let's go. I'm gonna pause it while I set this up. It'd be nice if you could give orders like these before the battle starts. Right, we're gonna hit the two spearmen and uh, the two infantry there. Uh, I need to also order these. Why? All right, let's go. Wait, I need to turn off those as well while we're at it. Right, those archers at the back there just getting demolished. That's what we like to see. Alright, I should probably bring these guys back. We don't want them to be in range of those crossbows. My axe man there is not in a good spot at all. Time to change our targets. Actually, I might just need to hit the Cataphracts there. Oh, this is going to be nasty. Oh, the Cataphracts charging into the back of those Axe Band. Oh, they are dead. They are so dead right now. Well, I'm just smashing the cataphracts so they don't kill my archers. Alright, this is still fine. Uh, we'll just keep firing into like the back of the Chu spears there. Oh, those shots are actually pretty nice. Okay, good. Uh, we've absolutely ruined them. Attack that Chu infantry. Do they have shields? No, they don't. We'll just fire into the back of that engagement. Time to get my cab into the back. I really wish that those shots would be landing a bit better. Because at the moment they're really not. They keep like hitting my own guys. Like how hard is it to just fire over the top? Yeah, how did that land there? 
which is yeah I don't even know we'll just stop those firing because that is just not going well all right let's get my leaders back in here We're not really going to be able to fire into this if we've got my archers engaged, but maybe we'll get a few kills with a charge. I'm going to withdraw these guys and just charge them again. I really want to get rid of the cataphracts, ideally. Just fire some rounds into them again, see if we can hit them this time. There isn't many people there except from one of our leaders. Uh, we're definitely in a pretty bad spot if we were to be attacked again. <laughs> Let's right, so make sure those cataphracts are dead. Well, those shots hit pretty well. They did go into our G militia, but those shots were pretty, pretty good. Right, we've got a big old blob here that we can hit. I don't think my trebuchets are going to fire anymore. They're in a weird spot. Alright, off we go. Alright, nice. That's done a lot of damage. Great. Oh, let's crush them. Perfect. That was tough. Alright, we're gonna chase them down. Hopefully we can take out the leaders as well. We wound some our way. I think that'd be really good for us. Ah, they got away. Alright, I think that'll do. A Pyrrhic victory. I knew it would be hard. That two infantry is definitely tough to beat. Thankfully we did have the Imperial Guard of our own. But if we get attacked again now, we're going to be in a really, really tough spot. Let's hope we don't get attacked. Uh, we're going to have to take the replenishment, although the 2100 would be very nice. Okay, it looks like he wasn't in range to attack. He was actually in March Dance, so maybe when I clicked on him previously and looked at his range, it was because he was in March Dance. Well, that puts us in a really nice position. Like, maybe now we can we you get dead. peace. There we go. Boom. We're going to get all that land as our vassal. We would like a regular payment, please. We can actually get like 500. Let's see how much we can request the payment for. Because sometimes it would be worth doing like a bit of both. No, I think just the regular payment in this case is better.
There we go. Perfect. So peace, and they cooperate with us. A satisfactory deal. Very, very nice. All right, that city there of Zhang Zhangli. Do we want to take that? I wonder. Not sure. Either way, uh, yeah, that one battle got the job done. <laughs> That's incredible. Like, our son certainly showing up. That's for sure. Let's go to precision with her. Go through these quickly. Ujin, temperamental, strong, and bright. Uh, this one's agile, ambitious, friendly, charismatic, stern, and vigilant. Hmm. Yeah, this is annoying, the charismatic trait. Otherwise, she'd be okay. Trustworthy, relentless, and direct. Too bad, but don't need him right now. Okay. That's another war sorted. We must be in such a good position. Like, if we go to ownership or diplomatic status, all the green is like us and our vassals. So the next one to die is probably Shan Ruijin, I would assume. Uh, then we should probably do something about Zhu Yan and uh, Shang Li. Changcheng Li, we might be able to just uh, attack and take that land and maybe give it to Shang, Shangji, possibly. I do need to sort out this domain size. Just don't know how to do it. Because I don't really want to give away any of these provinces that I own. They all give me a lot of income right now. So I'm probably just better off waiting until this ticks over. And for now, just keeping it the same. Alright, so where do we want to go from here? Um, I'm just going to check our diplomatic relations with these guys. She likes us quite a bit, doesn't she? Welcome, come in. Maybe I just request cooperation. Oh, we're going to go into the quick deals and see what's up. Um, so. Support vassal independence of Sirma Dai or Dan. Uh, he's the one who's a vassal of Sirma Yu now. So she's the only one who would actually take the cooperation. A pleasure. What would we have to trade? Intellectual vestures and money. I don't think that's a bad idea. It just saves us having to attack her. Because I'm not sure who I'd give that settlement to, and I wouldn't want to give it to Sir Malway just in case he kind of decided to backstab us. So I think that's fine. Your proposal is sound. Non-aggression pact is this guy. Yeah, we can negotiate that deal. Ah, oh, we'll just send him that. So that's fine. Agreed. And Serma, you oh, might take you. peace, but requires something for it. So we're going to say no to that for now. Okay, yeah, so we're going to go towards uh, Zhu Yan here. Who's he allied with, if anyone? You have a proposal. He's just got trade partners. So I don't think anyone would care if we attacked him. But that's good. That's our next plan. So, uh, actually, in normal, we should probably stay in normal stance whilst he replenishes. And I'm going to come down this way. Uh, reason being is I want to replace the Axe Band with Imperial Guards.
I might kill Sao Juan. Who is he friends with? Let's see. He's allied with Sir Ma Yu, Sir Ma Yong, and Sir Ma Jong. So Sir Ma Yu, Sir Ma Yong, Sir Ma Jong. Hmm, attacking him would probably be a bad idea. We're already at war with Sir Ma Yu, but kicking off all of this, probably a bad idea. The Jin Empire likes us quite a bit. Maybe we could Excellent. actually improve Top. that even more by offering them some money. But I don't have any money left at the moment, so we can't really do that. Uh, let's move on to the next turn. I would ask this of you. They want the stone archer for 1060. Sure. Some harmony has been achieved. I don't use that at the moment, and I'm probably not going to use it in the future, so that's absolutely fine. The Sir Mal Wei has been forgiven in the past, and now has become our vassal. Uh, noble birth, Sir Ma Ching Shu. And an exquisite weapon, yes, something good please. Ancestral Pledge. It's awesome, but it's not what I want. Black thoroughbred's nice, though. Like, who do I even give that to? <laughs> and the only person it would be good on right now is Sir Mar Bang. But he's not even a general yet, so... Maybe I could give it to Sir Mar Liang, but it actually has less damage than the Battle Axe. The Man Liang is actually leveled up. I think I'm going to go towards Trust. Or maybe we could go to Meditation. What else is there? Maybe Bravery. We'd have to go to Understanding to unlock Zeal. Zeal would be very nice. The ability for the 100% range block chance is pretty nice and unbreakable. Pretty good. Um, this is a tough decision. I think I'm going to go towards Bravery, because we can, he's already got a lot of resolve, like taking this for the 8 resolve wouldn't even give us a full amount, we'd only get plus 4 from that. Well I guess what I could do is get the resolve from Trust and then give the Ancestral Pledge to him, to give him the extra expertise and instinct, that would make him all round better. We'll keep it as the Battle Axe for now. He's going to be insane in, in jewels. Right, so my young can have that horse. There you go. Right, our domain extent should go up shortly. We're getting a lot of jurisdiction now after having some our way under our control. It just looks like all of the other princes in the northeast aren't really happy with us at all. So that's going to be a tough nut to crack. But Sema Liang, where do we want to go? I might just come down towards these guys at the bottom, possibly. I could probably make Fan Guan our vassal as well. Is he friends with anyone? No. I just don't want to have that army too far away. 
So maybe we send Sir Ma Zhong down there. Yeah, let's do that. It might be best to just use the river to shorten that a little bit. And then Sir Ma Leong can maybe head towards Sao Juan. Because all of this is pretty much sorted. Who does this belong to? That's the Jin Empire. So this is all the Jin Empire up here. So that's all fine. It's only Zhu Yan to our west that we need to take care of. Then pretty much everybody here likes us. Oh, I do need to take out Shan Ruijin. Uh, let's go and do that with uh, Sir Maliang. All right, cool. That will also help us make Bian Bing happy because I can just give it to him and not really ask for anything back. Cheng Yang, I think we're just going to upgrade the settlement. And at Shang Yong, we can upgrade to this one. Zhang Ling, uh, let's upgrade that if it's cheap. Wonderful, let's move on. I could just tell all of my vassals to declare war on Sir Ma Yu. <laughs> That might work. The Mayan had worn the Jin Empire. Intercept a missive. Uh, might alignment's normally what we want. Although saying that, I don't really want to be unpopular again, so we'll burn it. Uh, Sir Maju got the philanthropic trait. That's very nice. You pay you. Clever, populist, and solitary. Not bad. Not bad at all. Don't think we need her right now, though. Can I even have another army? Yeah, we can have two more armies. That's good. Because I might think about doing so soon. Not that we need one right now. I do want that to be a fish trader. We've got farm here, so I think it's best for that to be a food trader. Although the income from commerce bonus is pretty nice. Yeah, I think we're going to do that there. When we focus on commerce. Because we already have another province that's focusing like solely on food. Uh, this guy is not very happy. Nah, there's a higher court position. Alright, that's going to get old very quickly. Alright, let's push through to Zhu Yan. I might go towards the Silk Trader though. Hmm. Because if we attack Wudu, it's a small city, I think it has walls. And his garrison's there, so... That would be a pretty messy attack. Whereas if I can just attack the Wudu Silk Trader and then ask him for cooperation, that would work better. We'll go back on ourselves there. We would not be your enemy. Uh, they offered us a trade like this before, didn't they? Clay axe, clay warrior, clay warrior. Four. Re they can go. No, no. You that's just. A, that's just no. <laughs> I'm going to see what happens if I order all of my men to attack Sir Ma Yu. Oh, I wonder if he's any good. Our new fella. 
to Marshy. Just came of age. So it was Salsa, many years ago, stratified the military buku, hereditary troops, into four military households, and in doing so guaranteed their dedication. So what's that say before it? I just read the second paragraph for no reason. Uh, before the first. <laughs> A family of soldiers serving for life can be relied upon to be loyal and disciplined no matter the odds. Cool. So that gives us access to the archers now, which is nice. We can add them to all of our armies. Um, as you meditate, you ruminate on the nature of society. You know of administrators who are benevolent and compassionate, and their people love them for it. Yet others are cruel and barbaric. The people hate them, but they do not rebel out of fear. Can there ever be a right option? Uh, kindness, obviously. <laughs> Alright. Uh, let's have a look. Understanding. Limit resolve. Hmm. It's okay, we can go round like this. He's clumsy. <laughs> Sincere and vigilant. Okay, that's not too bad. He'd be a good administrator. At some point. Creative for Lu Lian Shi. Alright, let's go through and add to my army. He's not happy again. For God's sake. <laughs> All these people aren't happy. I really need to like level up my rank <laughs> sooner than later. Okay, settlement administration upgrade, that's good. Um yeah, I wanna swap out these. Uh, let's just do that first. And then we'll go into march. Jump on the water. I'm down here. Right, here we're gonna just uh, go into normal stance. Move down, and then next turn we can attack. I'm probably going to move as close as I can with March. There we go. Right, where are we going next with this? The income from post-battle loot's not too bad. An extra ammunition for all units after that is pretty good as well. One's military supplies. Replenishment's nice. Battlefield medicine. Yeah, let's go towards the replenishment. That's really good. And Somaju has leveled up. All right. We can get intensity, which is a pretty nice for him. Or we can go for nobility. Uh, this does give extra assignments because he would be our heir. So that's nice. Then we're going to go for nobility first. Because now we can set up another assignment. Just got to decide what I want it to be. Uh, that's surplus markets. That's actually pretty good. The extra income from commerce and income from industry. And can I put that like on top of Shenyang? I'm probably better putting it in a place which actually has commerce income though. Uh, let's see. This is industry. That's commerce and it commerce and industry. So yeah, we could do it at Nanyang. That would not be too bad at all. Cool. And we can also build into this. We can go towards the private workshops now, so that will boost it even more. Perfect. Alright, where's my other army? He's going to go into normal stance. We're just going to swap these units out. And then we'll carry on. Okay, unfortunately, guys, it has been my time. But... We are very, very close to our next level of jurisdiction, which will help us with the domain extent. 
And then uh, we're going to attack Shan Ruijin. We're going to take give that to Bian Bing. Uh, I'm going to attack Xu Yan, make them our vassal. That'll be the west completely sorted. Currently heading down to Fan Guan to vassalize these guys down south. And then we'll head eastward towards Serma um, Yu, who is currently rampaging through all of that land. All right, well, doing well, that's for sure. Very interesting place to all this campaign as especially with this particular character, Sir Ma Leong. I'm really enjoying it. We're really nearly close to the next level of spiritual alignment. So that would be good once we pick that up because it will allow us to vassalize people easier. But yeah, that's it. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.